Pete, you and I had the pleasure last year of listening to Joe Ehrman, who, who won the Lifetime Achievement Award, talk. Um, and, and if you haven't seen, seen that speech, I highly recommend you go check it out on, on video because it's amazing. But I know that he's had a, a great influence on you, and especially, and we saw it in the video, the, the Men Built for Others program. How has that influenced your coaching? Well, I think, again, it goes back to what I was talking about before, about the love and, uh, you know, kids, again, about being in a relationship with each other, loving each other, caring about each other. You're not always going to like each other. You know, we all make mistakes. Um, so, you know, but the love seems to cover all that, mm. you know, when we do make mistakes. So, um, in terms of the men built for others, one of the things that we try to do as a coaching staff is we have pregame meals every week before the games. And we talk about issues that deal with young teenage boys. Young teenage boys are, they're an animal that, you know, it's just, they're different, you know? And so, but I, uh, I absolutely love them. I just love hanging out with them. They make, you know, of course they keep me young. Uh, but anyways, uh, but at our pregame meals, I mean, there's no topic that isn't broached. And so we, we, we talk about everything. We talk about, you know, what does it mean to be a real man? We talk about how to, you know, how to treat women correctly. Uh, you know, how to treat your parents correctly. Um, <laughs> I mean, those are lessons that I had to learn as well. And my wife's in the audience. She'll vouch for that. But, uh, <laughs> but um, uh, you know, and then, and do, then do the you, big thing. Do you, do you like, yeah. throw those out, or is that just, like, free-flowing conversation? Um, it's <clears throat> sometimes the kids talk about it a little bit, and all the coaches will give little. It's not like we're preparing speeches. Coaches just get up and give talks about different, these different topics. And so it, it's really cool. It's, it's amazing what happens in that room. There's nobody in that room. The parents are awesome. They feed us, and then they get out. And now it's just us. <laughs> and and what, you know, what's, what's said in the room stays in the room, I, you know, for the most part. So. And, you know, again, what does it mean to be a man built for others? It, you're talking about what does it mean to be a real man? Does that mean, you know, you're the guy that gets all the girls? No, that's not being a real man. Are you the guy with all the toys at the end, with all the, you know, big house, big car? No, that does, that's meaningless. Right. So uh, in the end, uh, so um, those are the kinds of things we talk about, just um, those issues with young boys, because, you know, they don't get it. I mean, sometimes they get it from parents and that's great. Sometimes they get it from other people. But I know I can deliver that message to those young men because I'm the football coach and they're my football players. Right. And so I love them. Oh, gosh.